Hey there YouTube, second attempt at making this video, the first one didn't come out too right, so here we are again, back to square one. The The previous video went on for quite a bit of time, so I'm going to try making this less than 10 minutes if possible. And as you can see, we are on Darkstalkers. Many of you may remember Darkstalkers from back in the days from Capcom and some of these uh, characters you may recognize from uh, more recent games like Ultimate Marvel vs Capcom like Morgan for example she's in I think she was in Ultimate Mortal no I'm Ultimate Marvel vs Capcom um, 3 on the PS3 and Xbox 360 and later on um, updated to well remastered to Xbox one not about uh, PS4 but yeah but to your surprise um, this is actually on Xbox 360 so yeah so the video is basic this video is basically regarding a modded Xbox 360 that I recently purchased and I'm just going to quickly go over is it worth picking up um, is it worth picking up a, an Xbox 360 or more specifically a modded Xbox 360 and I would have to say if you're a gamer or if you have younger siblings or kids and you don't want to go out and you know pay silly money for stupid games like Disney's Cars, which I think a bit ago was was going for about forty fifty quid here in the UK. But yeah, you got younger siblings, you got kids, and you want to buy one system where they can you know stay entertained for you know absolutely ages you've got this this is uh, these are all the Super Nintendo games perfect for kids there's about 750 Super Nintendo games um, I think there's about 740 Sega Genesis or Sega Mega Drive games so you've got Sega Mega Drive games here say uh, Super Nintendo games here you've got MAME multiple arcade machine emulator or multi arcade machine emulator which has got about 4000 games most of them which aren't actually worth uh, playing unless you're a die hard fan um, I like the the 90s late 90s mid 90s to late 90s uh, arcade games then you've got um, you've got your original Xbox 360 titles uh, a lot of these actually came, um, they came uh, pre-installed. The only ones that I actually ripped from, from physical discs myself were Saw, uh, Ninja Gaiden 2, Medal of Honor, uh, Metal Gear Rising, um, Dishonored, this one, that was I think Dead Island, uh, Batman and alone in the dark the rest of these games actually came pre-installed and as you uh, boot up the system it goes on to Aurora as you can see there and this is basically Aurora and uh, what we'll do here is this is a game that I just recently ripped and I think if you Wait a minute. Download cover. And it gives you a choice of which covers you want to download. You've even got the Xbox One covers here as well. Um, if I just click onto that, the cover is being downloaded. And there you go. And yeah, so I think the, the, the major benefit of buying a modded 360 in 2019 is... You're just going to be basically spending money just the once. So, 
if you've got little kids or younger siblings who are entertained by 2D games or find, you know, modern games a bit too hard to grasp, um, these are perfect. I mean, you've got 750 titles to choose from, so you wouldn't be, you wouldn't necessarily be, uh, you know, stuck for choice. And there's absolutely everything you can think of. I personally, myself, when I was a young kid, I had a, a Super Nintendo. And a lot of these games, some games I'm, I'm quite familiar with, like Earthworm Jim and Clay Fighter, uh, Double Dragons, you know, the famous ones. Familiar with them. But there's a lot of games here that I'm not actually quite familiar with. Or I wasn't into them when I was when I was young um, the the highlights are basically for me are games like Killer Instinct which you know the emulation is bang on perfect um, then you've got um, where's it gone there you go Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat 2, Mortal Kombat 3 I'll just quickly go over these and um, yeah they they play exactly the way you would want them to you can actually speed things up as well um, I'll just quickly show you here and this is uh, this is an absolute accurate port of the Super Nintendo Mortal Kombat I remember playing this when I was in high school I was actually uh, very I was actually a big Mortal Kombat fan when I when I played this and the good thing is, is you can actually use the, the left thumbstick to to uh, to actually move the characters. You see, you, you press this, I think it's the, it's the right trigger. <laughs> and it just speeds everything up, it's, it's really cool. <laughs> yeah, it's quite cool there. Ooh, yeah. And... Let me see if I can do a, a, a speed it up. Ah, oh. no, never mind. But yeah, so click the uh, both of the thumbsticks, and you get these options. You can exit the game, and it takes you back here. I quickly go into Mortal Kombat 2 uh, because I know one of my viewers who is also a very dear cust uh, cousin of mine, and he, like me was a big fan of these games um, and yeah so and here we go this is the you can see how you speed it up look at that <laughs> oh man that's classic now <laughs> oh man yeah we used to love these games I've still got it, yeah, I've still got it, um, yeah, so, the SNES emulation is absolutely uh, bang on, it's it's perfect, uh, there's another game that used to be a favourite of mine, um, let's see if I can find it, it should be somewhere, there we go, this game, absolutely love this game, uh, fell in love with it when I first first played it. This is going back to 1995. Uh, yeah, and so basically, if you're thinking of purchasing a new system, or if you're a bit of a retro gamer, or uh, or anything like that, I would actually highly recommend. Um, getting a modded xbox 360 in 2019 and that's it for me hope to see you guys soon in the next video any recommendations suggestions just leave them down in the comment section uh, even if you didn't like the video just tell me uh, love to hear from you guys low quality video but high quality message that's the motto